Hello Internet, this is Ben with another Mysterious Space update. Um, this will probably be pretty quick, but whatever, we'll see how I, I ramble sometimes, so who knows. Uh, but first thing, I just wanted to let you guys know that the Steam thing is coming along pretty well. I, uh, I took a look at like their tutorial video. There's a bunch of funny business that I have to do to get the game uploaded. They have this whole process, this program, you've got to bundle up the game in just the right way, and blah, 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 blah. Um, so. I don't know, like, again, I, I downloaded the, the, the program, I watched a tutorial video, but I haven't really tried to do anything yet myself. Um, and as predicted, work has been pretty busy. I think it's like midnight here in my time in my time zone. I think that some of my coworkers are still working, and I might pop on to, to see what they're doing, because, I don't know, I feel kind of bad. I've had friends over today, so... I don't know. Anyway, so... um. Yep, so anyway, that's that's going along. Again, I haven't made like a whole lot of progress, but you know, I'm I'm getting it moving. It's definitely more than I, I had done before. I, I finished all the paperwork and, and all that. So so it's now a hundred percent just doing, you know, more computer stuff. Stuff I'm I'm more comfortable with. So so I think it'll once I've got the time it'll go pretty quickly. The other thing though is I wanted to show you guys just a couple little changes. Let me give you the window focus. And I'm going to want debug mode. Um stuff and things. So, well, let's just go into a level. I'll turn down the volume here a little. Um, I'm not quite done with the UI. I'm not happy with this now, but you may notice this 75 out of 20 business. Uh, that is my carrying capacity. You now have a limited amount of stuff you can carry. It's red because I am at or over the limit. You would ordinarily not be allowed to go over the limit except, you know, I, I did that Konami code, so I start with a bunch of stuff. It won't let me pick up anything, so so let's go see that that is the case. Let's see if I kill this guy. I feel give me some num nums. Give me num nums. No. Okay, we'll just go find some. Uh, I, but I think you can imagine how this will go. <laughs> I will walk over, or not walk, but fly over a pickup, and I won't pick it up. So there it is. No, I can't get it. Inventory is full. I can, however, get the uh, upgrade parts and of course the fuel, because those don't go in your inventory. You can now also drop things. So let's say I know that these green things are no good. I'm going to drop it, and I'll drop this, and I'll drop this, and they all go here. And they are colored. The reason I made them colored is because uh, this will be useful for co-op, because now you could drop stuff, and your friend will be like, oh, he, he dropped that. You know, I mean, you can immediately see the source. It's not something from the, from the level. It's a thing that your, that your friend dropped. So I feel like that's useful information. Uh, and it gives you a way to trade items. I do definitely want a trade thing um, when you're out in space, you know, not on a level. There's currently no way to trade items there. If you throw an item out, it's just, you know, destroyed entirely. Uh, these guys are going to mess me up. Oh, those bouncy bolts are bad. So, we now have an inventory. We now have dropping items. That's cool. Um, there are also, so when you strengthen your hole, you can see it used to just add the 10 to your uh, whole strength. Now you also get a carrying capacity, which I think is good because I don't think strength and hull... I don't know. I never felt compelled to get it. Like, I feel like if you're taking hull damage, you're basically already screwed. <laughs> so, like, having more hull isn't going to help you because... I don't know. So, I, I've always worried about what to do with it. You know, I don't want it to I don't want it to be more maximum hull strength because then the, the bar gets huge. I mean, we could also make it you know, you ignore 50% damage to your hold or something. There's other mechanics you could do, but the fact remains that if you are out of shields and you're out of armor, you're just down to hole. Like, you're in a lot of trouble, and so having more hull isn't quite awesome in and of itself. So I feel like this option, get, getting the carrying capacity, might almost be, like, the bigger reason you get it. On the other hand, I think plus one carrying capacity isn't that much. And I don't really... I mean, this is going to be a tricky balance. I don't know exactly... Uh, you know, in the carrying capacity thing in general, I mean, is 20 a good starting value? I don't know. When you, um, it doesn't tell you this and I need to add it, but when you buy the second weapon slot, each slot uh, also gives you an extra storage because um, equipped items don't actually go away, you know, from your, your inventory. They're still there. So I went ahead and made it so that when you buy the, a second weapon slot and a third weapon slot, or with the head of Hydrus uh, ship that you can unlock, the player ship you can unlock, um, that can get a second piece of armor. All of those slots will give you additional um, carrying capacity, plus one. Uh, you, you know, I figured that at least to represent the fact that you, 
I mean, you have to be able to equip it, which means you got to be able to store it in your inventory. So whatever. Um, and anyway, that's not in the in the wording here, as you can see. So yes, that's kind of the big thing. There's now c carrying capacity. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I don't 100% know what why it occurred to me to do it recently, but but it did, and so now we've got it. So now we, you can only carry so much stuff. Hopefully that will make decisions a little more tricky on, and, and also pressure you to use items when they are useful rather than just storing everything up. Um, I feel like if you just store everything, then near the end, the game could be very easy because anytime you feel a little threatened, you're like, oh, whatever, I've got like 50 of these blows everything up on the screen artifacts, why do I even care? You know, I don't want that sort of situation either. Um, so now you have maximum carrying capacity. This update, it turns out, is making everything harder. I mean, you've got the cursed and, and, and blessed. Uh, inventory items, I have added more of these advanced technology effects. Um, I can't even remember off the top of my head, but um, that's okay, I don't want to spoil it, so I won't worry about it. I've added more, again, kind of trying to lean on the side of them being good, but there's some, there's some dangerous ones. There's one, actually, I'll go ahead and tell you, uh, that if you use it, it spawns a bunch of enemies. Let me see, is that like the third one? Completely restructures the ship into another form. And apparently crashes the game, because I have not fully tested all these things. It used to work. Anyway, there are more of these advanced technology things, and this is precisely why I said I'd be waiting until the end of the week, because there are still bugs to, to resolve and fix up. So anyway, I guess I am, I'm done. This is as good a spot as any to uh, wrap up. I was hoping to have a precise release date for you <sighs> for this version. I still don't know it. I still don't know it, so I'll, I'll just post um, more. It's just been so... I, I haven't made as much progress as I'd like, because, again, work is crazy. And now after this, I'm just going to go and work more, I think. So, yeah. So I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know. But thank you for watching, and, and thank you for playing and being interested. And, and do the Steam thing. Thanks, everyone, for upvoting me on Steam. That's amazing. I never would have thought... I, like, I don't know, a year ago this was just a 7DRL project. It was a game made in seven days. It was a lot worse than the game now. I never would have imagined putting it on Steam or getting much positive feedback at all. But but here it is, and, and here we are, and now I'm releasing on Steam. That is so super awesome. And, I mean, obviously, that I, and it, it could not have been done without you. <laughs> it could not have been done without the upvotes. And the guys at groupies.com, I don't know how much they helped exactly, but it must have been a lot. Uh, to have been included in that bundle, I mean, that got so much um, like like advertising for the game, basically. So that was amazing. It's been it's it's, it's been awesome. It's been awesome. So thank you, thank you for everything, and uh, I will leave you now. Good night and goodbye. And I need to find the stop recording button. Everything's confused because the game crashed. Here we go.